Rinsey and Wilson Chetian were once among 24 million Christians living in India. Their home was Bombay, or Mumbai as it's known now. Rinsey had a well-respected job as a teacher, but gave it up to pursue her husband's dream of experiencing life in another culture. We were born in a Catholic family. Sunday service, Sunday church. My family is more staunch Catholics and more believers, as you can say. My dad's side, we've got a lot of nuns and fathers, and my dad's three sisters are nuns. Tell me a bit about your life in India before you moved here to the UK. What was it like? We still have a joint family system back home. So we have, we live with, I mean, when I get married, I went to Wilson's house and we lived with his parents there. And it was very easy. And I, that's, that's one of the reasons I didn't want to come here because it was a really easy life. We don't have to do much work or, I mean, housework. We have housemates coming home and doing all the work. And I had my mother-in-law at home to cook. And I didn't know much for any cook and Wilson didn't know anything at all. If life was good for you in India, why did you decide to come over here to yeah. the UK? That's not a good question because we realized that after coming to this country it was a very bad move. <laughs> 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 so basically it was my idea of coming to see Europe or America. And the idea was of coming here was, you know, make some money. That was the basic idea of coming here. But then when we knew that sixty percent goes in your house rent, another thirty percent goes in tax. And we were thinking, what will we eat now? You know, that used to be the situation, and we have to, we have to see every penny coming into the bank. So that was very surprising. We thought we'll make money here, but then we ended up telling people, sorry, we might need money here to survive. Wilson, who had been a marketing manager in India, struggled to find work at first. Rinsey had a job as a teacher, but with no friends or family. Life was lonely. I'll get more, okay? Now they're settled in Peterborough. They believe this is the path God mapped out for them. He has le led us through all this. It's because there was some reason behind it. And I think when we just think back, maybe that whole journey was to bring us to Kingsgate. Bombay is my, my place, I'm my area. Now we came to this place, and now our kids are growing in this background. And I'm sure they won't like going back to Bombay. But where do we stand? I presume now through Kingsgate that you do feel part of the community here. Oh, yes, yeah. so we, we, we yeah, are we part of, you know, this is, this is our, our, our uh, life now. You've been living here for uh, many years. Uh, are there things that you think that we take for granted here? Yeah, when I see in this country, you know, you have such, uh, you know, the council people cleaning the roads and you know, keeping everything green, the grass is cut on time, the new flowers is put in when it is springtime, and all these things, people are just taking for granted. People moan and moan and moan. And I have come from a country where, you know, you don't get anything. There is so much of blessing in, the, in this country. To be in your presence, to say that your This is my 